Do not sign up for collective mentality. Your only job is to decide what you want, protect that desire, be unattached to when it happens, be willing for it to happen whenever it's meant to happen, but know that you are on the right track to creating that desire. How are you? I have a really amazing reflection of um, what Q1 was like, not just for me, but for my clients. And I want to share with you the lessons um, that are going to really support you in having an amazing Q2. And I want to tell you that this started for me back in, started back in December. I had a big desire to um, buy a million dollar home. So I never had invested in real estate and that felt really impossible to me. And I also had a really big impossible income goal. So today I wanna talk about how to create the impossible. Even when things feel like it's not gonna work, I wanna give you, I think there's how many lessons here? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six lessons. So they're going to be really, really helpful. Okay, before we go on, give me in the comments, how do you feel today? Give me how in one word, check in with yourself. How do you feel today? I am feeling uh, so pumped to be here to share. Like, I feel like there's just like this overflow of like wisdom that wants to come out. So I don't know what the feeling for that is, but I'm just going to call it pumped. <laughs> So here's what I want to start. When we, this is the time, this is the time when most people look at their yearly goal or their desires for the year and they start quitting on them. Think about it. You set a goal for the year and now you're starting to have thoughts about, well, maybe it's not going to happen. No, it because I coach my clients in the Momentum Mastermind. We do a quarterly reviews and quarterly planning. We had such an amazing, powerful session where we did that. And some of them were like, oop, oop. Is this going to happen? Right. And this is, this has happened to me too. So I want to talk about it because I want to really enforce, reinforce your desire. I want to reinforce that this is the time to believe even more, to hold your desire even more sacredly and to get connected even more to why you want this in the first place and choose it all over again. And I'm talking about your, your desire for the year, your yearly goal. So I don't know how you do business. I don't know how you set up your, your goals in your business. But in, in my philosophy is we set a desire at the end of the year of what we want to create in the following year. And then we create, we hold that desire very sacredly and we protect it no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what Q2 shows, no matter what Q1, shows, no matter what, no matter what today, tomorrow happens, it doesn't matter. We protect the desire and then desire gets to become a reality because we act in alignment with that being a done deal. And so that's my philosophy. That's how I create impossible things. Even though it seems completely crazy to one, $2 million, which I created 2.5 last year, I held that desire very sacredly. And I did that the year before where the year when I went from like 100K to 700K, like that was a seven X growth. And I just knew in my heart, that's what my desire was. I didn't go with what's reasonable, what other people are doing. I held that desire sacredly. And so first I want to really encourage you to re-decide that your desire gets to be yours and there's a reason why you wanted it and be committed to loving and appreciating yourself in the journey of getting there, which is the whole point of what, of how to create a sustainable aligned business is not just making a fuck ton of money and being a multimillionaire. Like I am that, but what really feels more important to me is the way that I treat myself and the way the inner dialogue that I go to bed with, that I wake up with, that I live with every single day. That is what I value the most, who I spend my time with, the Juliana that I get to listen to in my head every day. She sounds like a million dollars, like it's a million dollar voice. It's a multi-million dollar voice. That is what's going to get you to your deepest, most delicious desires, because it's not about the money, it's about how you treat yourself. That is my philosophy. So 
So with that said, I want to tell you some personal things. I want to tell you some business things because this show up, this shows up in every way. And this is going to help you really attract, really create the impossible both in your personal and professional life. And so I'll start with what I wanted personally. I wanted to become a homeowner because I just became a homeowner and it literally feels like I grew up. <laughs> I'm like actually an adult now. Um, I, it just, it was such a desire and, but you know, here, so, so rule number one of creating the impossible. Okay. I see, I see candy. I see Laura saying you are homeowners. Awesome. So I, to me, that felt like a very distant goal. And I'll tell you why, because I thought that an impossible goal, like owning a million dollar home would require a lot of red tape, a lot of work, and that it would be hard to do. It would be hard to, I mean, I didn't know anything about real estate. I don't know anything, interest rate, this and that. And like, there's all these fees and all these things that are in, that are at play that most people sign up for. Like, like, that most people think are required and maybe they are required because like in the 3d world we are required to you know get a loan and whatever and sign the papers and the appraisal and the whatever all of those all that process to me felt very hard and so i decided that i wanted to redefine what that would look like for me and this is lesson number one of how to create the impossible don't sign up for collective mentality just because something is hard for other people doesn't mean that it has to be hard for you. Don't don't sign up for collective mentality and just because something is hard for others doesn't mean that it has to be hard for you. So I applied the prince I believe that I am the exception to the rule when it comes to life. I believe that things can be difficult for other people but it gets to be easy for me or the door gets to be open for me. That's what I believe about myself. This was not how I believed that. This is not my self-concept. This is not what I thought about me before, but I chose that I was going to become that person. And this is why I coach my clients on becoming the exception to the rule and creating impossible things because that's what I coach them on mentally and emotionally so that they can be receptive and stop being in the denial that of their greatness and stop being in denial of how abundant they actually are and how much they get to receive. So I started applying what I believe about me in the business world to my personal life. And I said, how do I want this to go for me? How do I want this real estate purchase to go for me? And I wanted it to be easy. I wanted it to be simple. I knew I needed people to guide me, but I didn't know because I didn't know shit about it. <laughs> and so I started setting the intention. Universe, I'm available to receive the right guides, the right team that's going to support me in creating this desire that I have. And my only job is to protect that desire. And I just started taking the actions of, okay, well, I'm going to think about like, who can I reach out to? Who, what, what can I do? Long and behold, I'm telling you, I got the best realtor and, and I'm going to tell you the wildest thing of all. I went to see the first property in Miami and I fell in love with it, but they were asking for something outside of my budget, like almost a multi-million dollar number. And I was like, you know, that's amazing. I could do that, but I'm not available. Like I, that's, that doesn't feel good for me to pay that. So I released the design. I was like, I released the property because I made an offer. They declined it. And I was like, I'm not going to try to change. Like that doesn't, right, whatever. But I knew in my vision what I wanted. I didn't let, and I didn't downgrade my desire. I wasn't like, well, I guess I can't. That's not going to happen because, you know, I can't have an ocean view in every room because that's going to be too expensive. I'm like, no, what I want is an ocean view in every single one of the rooms. And that's what I desire. And that's what I'm going to hold the space and hold the desire and protect that desire because that's what I want. And so, and there were no properties that had all of those qualifiers. So I had a lot of properties coming in and it was like, that's not working. And then the prices were going up in Miami. It's like, everything's just going up and up and up and up. And I'm like, oh my God, this is feeling like it's not going to happen. And so I got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm releasing this. Like I'm going to, I'm going to buy whenever is whenever I I'm not attached to buying it now. I'm going to buy whenever it's right. And then the next day. I got an email from my realtor and she says a property four floors below the one that you wanted has opened up same floor plan, same everything is exactly the same penthouse, just four floors down, $400,000 less. You guys, 
$400,000 less. How could I have imagined that this was going to be a thing? There's no way. But my job, I just stayed in the frequency of it gets to happen the way that I want it to happen. I like, I'm not attached to whether it happens now, it happens next year, it happens later. I also don't want to move this year. So this is the coolest part of this manifestation of creating the impossible that I said, here's what I want. And here are my terms. And I want to invite you to think, what are your terms for what you want? I, I wanted the home. I wanted to buy it now, but I wanted an ocean view from all the rooms. And I wanted very, a certain vibe, a certain building, a certain everything. And on top of that, I did not want to move this year. I was like, I don't want to move. I have a lot of travel. So universe, how is this going to work? I don't know. I'm going to let you figure it out. Sometimes we think things are impossible, but we, it's because they were seem impossible to us and infinite there's infinite ways in which things can happen i didn't even know that this way that happened was going to happen let me tell you this property that my realtor messaged me about was four hundred thousand dollars less and it came with a tenant that doesn't move out until next year so i don't have to move out until next year can you believe that if you're feeling the magic of how sometimes we don't even imagine that things can happen in our favor. And I'm not saying this because I'm like, look, guys, it happened for me. Yes, I'm super happy and I want to celebrate. But why this is important for you? It's because I know you have a desire of what you want to create, whether it's in your personal life or whether it's in your professional life, in your business. And you're negotiating with your desires. You're saying, well, maybe I should not hold a desire so tightly or so dearly because uh, what if it doesn't happen? And I don't think it's possible. I mean, how is that going to happen? And this is what will happen when you surround yourself with people that have the same mentality. They're going to ask you, how do you, that's impossible. How, what do you mean? Like, that's hard. Like how you don't want to move this year, but you want to buy a property, like get real. I am unavailable for that kind of mentality. So remember, do not sign up for collective mentality. Your only job is to decide what you want, protect that desire, be unattached to when it happens, be willing for it to happen whenever it's meant to happen, but know that you are on the right track to creating that desire. So important to not negotiate with what you want because then you close the door on the opportunity happening the way you want it to happen. So now I got my dream place and I don't have to move this year and someone's paying my mortgage. How is this even real? Of course it's real because I created it in my mind first. So that's the first lesson that I want to give you. And, and if we allow, if, and if we decide that whether we get it or not, we are going to love ourselves in the process, appreciate ourselves. And we have to be willing to be in the vulnerability of, I want this so badly. Yes, I'm here for it. I want it. And also I am so I'm not attached to when it happens. I'm not in the, I'm not gripping it. I'm not gripping it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so big desires can happen quickly. And I want to tell you that that's also, I mean, there's so many lessons in this that, that I can share with you more and go deeper and deeper in just that specific thing. But, but I also want to give you the last thing on that is that it can happen quickly. Like I see people looking for homes and it's like this big, long drawn out thing. And then we sign up for their drama and sign up for their stories and sign up for their experience. And I really, anytime that you see an experience that you're like, Oh shit, see, that's hard. Time, keep scrolling. Ignore that's not available. Do not become available for their hardship. This is their experience. Your experience gets to be different. So anytime I saw somebody complain about how the housing market was so hard, I was like, no, it's actually really easy. I know it's going to happen for me. Yep, that may be your experience. And I didn't have to say this. I just, in my head, could repeat that out. Sorry, could repeat that for myself. You can even say like, la, 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 When people are like giving you their stories. When, when your mom tells you like literally inside, you're just like, la, 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 la. I am unavailable to hear that. Because otherwise you're going to hit subscribe on that mentality. And what I'm asking you to do is unsubscribe from a bunch of mentalities that are not going to help you get what you want fast. So for me, I wanted it to be fast and I decided that it was going to happen quickly. And all I did is just help my desire and took some actions and then, and then did not sign up for everyone, everyone else's hardship. 
So attracting clients, same thing. It can be hard for some people, but why does it have to be hard for you? You are the exception to the rule. Okay, let's go with thing number two. So let's talk about business. And I want to tell you about one of my clients yesterday because this is really... Um, yeah, yeah, this is just such a beautiful story that I want to like let it in inspire you. So lesson number two from Q1 is be firm and fluid, which is kind of like a little bit what I said before, but we're going to take it to the business context. So what I mean by being firm and fluid is you get to hold your desire, let's say your income goal, okay, and decide what I want to make this quarter is this much. And then you get to, I mean, I, I wish I could show you guys. So let me actually take you to my board. So I have a board here. And my literally, as you can see, like my, my yearly goals on this side. And then on this side is like my quarterly goals. So I help my clients break everything down really clearly so that we know their focus and we know what they're doing, right? So it's just simple. They don't have to be second guessing or imagining or wondering what they're doing with their quarters or with their lives or with their businesses. And so one of the things that we do is we create a plan for how they're going to meet their income goal in the most simple way possible. And so we create a plan for enrollment and what the offers will be. And, and we just make it super simple and easy. And, and that feels... Um, approachable right and so one of my clients had this plan of like very specific numbers okay I'm gonna have enrollments for this and for this this much this many people whatever and she ended up exceeding her quarter but the beautiful thing that she did is she was firm on what she wanted but she stayed fluid and the money didn't come from those specific offers or like in the specific way we broke it down but it came from a different way. It came from a different um, offer that, or a client, anyway, like this other way, this offer that she ended up designing for a client. And that, and she felt really, she felt really good. I, I wanna preface that she felt really good about delivering this, this offer that, um, that ended up having, having her exceed her income goal. And so here's what I want to offer. And the same thing happened to me, actually. I had a goal of number of enrollments for one offer. And then I had a different number of enrollments for the other offer. But I had I was firm on my desire of the quarterly goal. And guess what happened? I didn't match the number of enrollments from this offer. But then the other offer increased the number of enrollments. And I ended up getting my desire in the end. We often quit when we don't see the rigidness. First of all, we need it's important to have a plan so that not even just for you, but so that you let the universe know what you want and what you're available for. I'm like, I want to know like what our products are in our company and what the offers are so that we have a clear plan and we're not winging it. But that's like logically, but then also energetically that sends a signal of what you're available for. And it's not just for your team it's for the team that you don't see <laughs> It's for your unseen team that is also working in your favor to bring you what you want, to bring you the money that you want, to bring you the clients that you want. So this level of clarity of breaking up your income goals helps you and helps your seen and unseen team. So what is important about this lesson is you get to be firm about your desire of what you want and let it unfold as it's meant to unfold. Maybe you're gonna get, the, maybe the client you thought was going to re-enroll in your program, maybe because they were uh, ready to, yeah, re-enroll in your one-on-one, -on -one. maybe they don't sign up, but maybe you have two random clients that show up in, in a random way, or maybe you don't have two clients show up in a random way, but then these three clients re-enroll and you were not expecting that. Right. And so if we hold so rigidly the way we think our goals are going to happen, then we tighten up the ability for it to flu like to fluidly come to us. And so what I wrote is be firm and fluid. Don't grip the numbers. Become available to receive your number in other ways. You don't have to hold it so tight. You just get to be clear on your desire. And I think I see two camps of people where they don't get clear on it because they're afraid to want it. And they're like, what if I, what if I set this goal and what if I don't get it? And I just get overwhelmed by like setting numbers. And obviously that's not going to work because we need a clear plan. 
But there's also people who really leaning on the plan and then they grip every bit of it. And the middle ground is where you create the plan and you let the money flow. You let it come to you in whichever ways is right. You just hold a vision and you work it out as you go. Oh, actually, this is what this is the way it could it could happen. All right. I have so much to say. I literally wish I could talk even more about what I just said, because that was a huge, amazing lesson that happened to me, happened to multiple clients. And I just love the fluidity and the spaciousness of that. And by the way, if you want to be to have your business work in this fluid way, I want to invite you to apply for Magnetize and Monetize, which is my three month container where I show you how to clarify your message and attract premium clients. And right now we're enrolling for the early bird. So that means that you save a thousand dollars and you can get instant access to the content and start literally applying this way of operating to your business. Um, and if you are a former client, know that I am enrolling for Momentum very soon. And this is where we plan your business in quarters. And it's like a really beautiful way to create spaciousness in your business. Do less, but be able to elevate the way that like collapse the timeline that you that takes you to get from where you're at now to either 250k 500k or a million that's what we do in momentum mastermind we get you from wherever you're at to 250 500k or a million and we just make that a lot faster like last year one of my clients went from 170k to 1 million dollars in momentum mastermind it's amazing okay so lesson number three is if you want people to choose you you must choose yourself first. This is my favorite lesson of the entire quarter. And let me tell you how that applies to both your launches, your marketing and your personal life. So I was, I was like dating this guy. I was in this like dating situation and I realized like something wasn't feeling good. And like it and what I realized is I was coaching myself and being with my emotions, what little Juliana wanted is like she didn't feel chosen by this person. And so what I was coming up was this like sense of like anxiety, right? Like there was like all these feelings that would come up and like abandonment, right? And and I really believe that we don't have necessarily only business problems. We have personal problems that show up in our business. And so I always look inside to see how this reflects in my business and how my business is flowing. So I always look at what in me needs to be healed or what in me it's needing a voice or to be loved on or to be nourished so that then my business can lead from that place. And what I realized is that Juliana, little Juliana wanted to feel chosen. She, she, she didn't feel chosen. She felt abandoned, right? And this is the six-year-old in me. And what I realized is that in order for us to be chosen, we have to choose ourselves first in all of our mess, in all with all of the imperfections or all of the ways that we don't want to be. Like, I was like, I don't want to be this person that feels abandoned. I've already worked through that wound. Like, that's not me. I've done healing. Like, I'm a next level. And it's so fascinating because, of course, we revisit the wounds or the experiences that as many times as we need to until whenever. Like, there's no ending. It was just, we just get to revisit and it just gets easier and easier every time. So, I was coaching myself on this and I was coaching my clients on this lesson and how it applies to business. And what was really fascinating is that one of my clients had the same experience, not feeling chosen in her launch. And so this applies to both your personal life, but really in your business, as I am a marketing coach, I help you have sold out launches, attract premium clients. So how do, and I know you follow me because you want to, to know that. So how does this apply to you? Think about your experience when you market and sell and how you feel about being chosen. And if you want people to choose you, if you want people to say yes to your premium offer, if you want people to be a yes to your program, if you want people to be a yes to the launch that you're doing, then are you choosing yourself first? And by that, I mean... I'm going to love you, Juliana, whether this person says yes or not, whether this person choose, like signs up or not, I'm going to have your back. I'm going to love on you. You are my number one. 
like of course if they don't sign up they don't see the about that that's on them like that's fine but i'm gonna choose to be on your in your corner because i'm so proud of how you're showing up because i love you you're so brilliant you are you blow me away every day in who you are in what you choose how you treat me like how you show up for me like i love you and like who, like i just showered myself with so much love and appreciation because i was so i was starving for it when i was little i didn't get a lot of it and so of course that shows up in the way that perfectionist tendencies come up in my business and for my clients too of course i attract clients who had the same feelings right like who who, who went through the same path and so I want to really invite you to put your marketing down for a minute before you write the next post and ask yourself, in what ways do I get to choose myself no matter what the result is? Choose the parts of me that I don't really love, the parts of me that I wish were different, the parts of me that I wish were more productive, more effective, more on this, more of that. Wait, can I just bring all of them here and say, I choose you. When we're able to do that, you know what happens? This is not just some woo-woo shit that I'm telling you. Just imagine. And this is literally how it happened for me. I was able to choose me with all parts of me. And then my radiance increased because then I show up on live streams. I show up on coaching calls. I show up in my marketing. And there's this radiance about me that people love and are magnetized to, but it's only because I am showing up for me. Before I go on live, I treat myself in the way that I want to be treated. And then people want to be in that energy. And this is what people are actually buying from you. This is what premium clients want. They don't just want a lot of modules and a lot of worksheets and a lot of shit. Yes, they want the result. And yes, they want to make sure that you are somebody who can help them. Yes, they want your competence. Yes. But at the end of the day, they want to be around somebody who is exceptional at showing up in the world, choosing themselves first and treating themselves kindly. And you, my love, get to do that today. You do not have to wait to do that. In fact, that is what unlocks your radiance, what unlocks your power. And when I say radiance, I'm not leaving men behind. Like when you are, when you have your own back as a man and when you back yourself and when you're kind to yourself, you also radiate magnetism. You also become a power force. So this applies to all genders. This is not just for women. So I really want to encourage you to choose you even if the results are different than what you expected. Like even if your Q1 wasn't what you expected, how are you going to appreciate yourself? How are you going to celebrate yourself? How are you going to learn from what happened in a constructive, loving way so that you don't run out of fuel because you've been so mean to yourself that you're not even able to do a marketing post to think about doing a launch because you think there's no way I can. I am so exhausted. What creates exhaustion is not the doing, is how we treat ourselves. And so the biggest lesson that I want to share with all of you from Q1 is that choose you so that other people, if you want to be chosen in your marketing or in your life, it's a no brainer. It's like, oh my God, of course I want to be around you. You choose you. And I'll tell you how it ended with the guy. I literally went through this entire experience of I'm going to choose what Juliana needs. What makes Juliana happy? What makes her come alive? What does she want? Like, how can I, like, I'm focusing too much on other people's needs. I know that there's something that I'm missing that I'm not giving myself. And when I did that, <laughs> there was like an overflow of men that are just like, woo including the one that I was telling you, like there's just an overflow of people. And so in same thing with premium clients, there's an overflow of premium clients. You don't have to cling on onto like that lead. I like, I don't count my leads. I don't look at those numbers. I don't have a spreadsheet of leads. I just know my energy is touching people and I'm not even wanting to grasp on anything. I just know that my radiance like makes it delicious for people to want to work with me, to want to sign up to be in my orbit. We have, we have the last 
one lesson. We have one lesson left and this is going to be really delicious, especially for those of you who already have a team. If you're already scaling, so I have a couple of my clients are already at the 500k level, they're at the million dollar level, uh, 600k, 300k, right? And so there, there's a team involved, they have team. And I gotta tell you that in my business, I keep things very simple. If you know me, if you know anything about me, you know that my whole mantra is let's keep business simple. So I like to keep things very simple, but very profitable. <laughs> so last year we did $2.5 million and I only had two team members. And why that was, was because we had really great processes. In, in my business. And so I didn't need a whole lot of people. I wasn't paying a lot of people. I just kept things simple. My marketing is very simple. My sales process is simple. I don't have a sales team. I literally sell with my marketing. My marketing does the heavy lifting and I sell a five figure offer without sales calls. And we get dozens and dozens and dozens of people buying that. So I want you to know that you don't have to overcomplicate your business in order to create the results that you want. It gets to be simple and delicious. And so last year we did 2.5 million with two members, but in this year, one of my goals for the year is to really have a soulmate team and to have a team where I could be fully offline and literally go off and do my thing and they would just hold the fort. That felt to me almost impossible because um, I had been doing a lot of it myself like, or no myself, but I had um, like that was like having a lot of people around me. Like I've never been the type of person that has like a million friends or like a million supporting people. Like it's always kind of been like a lone wolf energy, right? It's like I get it. You know what I mean? It's like. I'll figure it out. I figure it out myself. It's like, I'll figure it out myself. I'll figure it out myself. And while that is helpful in some ways, it's very not, it's not really helpful when you, when you go and build a team and when you have a company, because at the end of the day, if you want to scale without you doing the work, then you need to have a trustworthy soulmate team that supports you. And that was a little bit different for me. I didn't see, I see all of you raising hands. Yes, it didn't feel comfortable to trust people. And I actually had a lot of evidence why I couldn't trust them. I was like, oh, there are mistakes happening and this is happening. Rah, rah, rah. And so I was not feeling very empowered in Q3 last year because I had hired and I didn't. And then things were just not working. So my decision for my desire for this year was to have a soulmate team and remove myself from operations and just have my team run the show. And so that felt very impossible, very distant. For some people, that's really easy. But for me, it felt a little bit more distant. And that was my yearly goal. I wanted to just take the whole year to hire the best team ever. So it was, I gave myself plenty of time. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it here. But literally, literally, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. Team all in dedicated trustworthy and soulmate team remove myself from ops and social media management and these are the areas of growth for the year okay so like that was give myself a whole year and, so, and i created that in q1 literally just like just this last three months so i want to tell you what i did in order to create that from a mindset perspective because this was everything for me so Attracting premium clients, which is what I teach you and what I teach you in my programs. And if you want to become a magnet for premium clients, and if you want to know how to do that and how to have a simple business, join Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind and then come to Momentum because that's where I really support you in creating that result. But once I had mastery around attracting premium clients, that's really easy for me. It's just who I am. It happens really effortlessly. I realized that the same mentality applies to creating a soulmate team, attracting a soulmate team. And so what I teach in my program, one of the things that I teach that I want to tell you today is I am so um, passionate and not so just passionate, but what I believe is that when we set standards for what we want to attract and the type of clients that we want to receive, those clients actually show up. When we start speaking to the elevated version of our client, when we start seeing them in the most elevated version, the clients show up. When our message speaks to that version of them, the clients start showing up. And I know that because that's how I do it, that's how I teach my clients, and they all do it and they all it all works. Like it works for them. 
So I realized I wanted a premium team. I wanted a, a team that shows up for me in a premium way. But what I was doing is I was treating them or speaking to them or um, calling them in as if they were not premium, as if they were not soulmate. Like I did not have belief in them. It's kind of like when I didn't have great clients or when I didn't have a lot of clients, I did not believe they could pay me. I thought there would be, you know, hard to find. All those thoughts. Like, I think that it's hard to find clients. Clients, like, I don't know where they're at. You know, what if they don't pay me on time? They're going to have money, beliefs about money. Like, I had all those thoughts about clients in the past. And this is what I help my clients with. They come with those thoughts and then we completely rearrange the way they think. And then they start attracting premium clients and then they become a match for that. So you can apply the same mentality to attracting a premium team. And here is the first thing that I did. I decided here's how I want to feel in my team. Here's how I want to feel inside of my company. I want to feel number one, supported. And I want them to run the show and I want to empower them to do that so that if I get sick or if anything happens, not like my business keeps running. And you guys, I got sick twice this, this year with like, you know what, you know, the thing that goes around a lot in these past few years. And my team was able to run the show for the last two weeks and I wasn't even plugged in. So no one noticed that I was away. Everything kept going and they were able to make decisions as if they were me all because I decided that's how I want to feel. I want to feel like my team can make empowered decisions on their own and that they make up decisions that are aligned with what I desire. We're all clear in our core values. We know where we're going and I treat them with love and I see them in the highest presence. And I also set the standards for how I, how we show up in our, in my company. Like, we are committed to excellence. We are committed to doing our best and to love ourselves in the process. So um, I have a really beautiful Tim philosophy and we were able to really rearrange that. And so the lesson that I want to give you from that I learned from Q1 is that attracting premium clients helps you attract a premium team. And you get to set the tone for how you want to be treated in your company and set the standard so that your team can actually meet your needs. Sometimes we want people to read our mind and like this is so, um, it's kind of like in life. We want the men to read our mind and to treat us a certain way, but we don't tell them. Here's what would feel really good. You know what would feel really good is this. This is how you win with me. This is how I would like for things to go. And if things don't go this way, what's the kink? We need to work out what the problem is. I'm talking about a team now. <laughs> I'm not gonna be problem shooting, troubleshooting why a man is not showing up in the way that I wanted with him. I'm like, okay, what's the problem? Why are you not doing it, right? Like, it's a different energy. Like I just inspire, that's like more inspiring their devotion versus with a team, you actually get to troubleshoot. Okay, cool. So what is the kink here in the process? Uh, how can I support you to make this easy? Because this is how I want to feel and this is how you win with me. So I wish I could tell you more. <laughs> about this because it's been such a revelation. But what I want you to apply and to take with you is the set the standards for how you want what who you want to be, like who you want to be with, who you want to work with, and who you want to be supported by. Meaning the relationship you want to want to have. I feel like a relationship coach when as I'm dating, I'm like, I feel like I'm just transferring all the business lessons that have helped me in my business become like a multimillionaire. I'm like, oh, all of this is applicable in the in the relationship world. And I'm just having so many breakthroughs. But anyway, we're, we're back to the team. So get clear on how you want to be supported and be willing to communicate it with your team in a loving way, but also being firm that these are the standards. This is what you expect. And this, and this has to be ways in which you also show up. Don't negotiate on your desires. It's kind of like the same as the lesson that I told you today. In the first lesson, don't negotiate on your desires with your goal or with your team. You get to be fulfilled. Your needs get to be met by the people around you. 
And you, but, but, but the secret is what I gave you in one of those steps is for you to meet your needs first. And so if you're really good at relationships, guess what? You actually may be really good at making a fuck ton of money. <laughs> I will show you how to rearrange it if, if you join Magnetize and Monetize. <laughs> Just kidding. So those are the lessons that I have for you today. And I'm super curious if you're watching the replay, I want to hear which one was your favorite or which one was the most timely because we are all at different stages in our businesses. And this, everything that I'm teaching you applies at the, at whatever level you're at. This is not too beginner. This is not too advanced. These are lessons that if you're in this live stream, if you're watching this replay apply to you. And I know because you're here. You're here for a reason and this message is coming through for a reason. And so take really, don't just keep consuming more stuff, like pause after this and just reflect what, what, which one of these lessons really landed here? Because sometimes we just go on to the next thing on the next thing on the next thing and then we leave the gold behind. And what I'm giving you is gold. So good, so good. All right, my love. So I wanna remind you that if you want to attract premium clients by clarifying your message and keeping it really simple in your business, make sure that you go to the link in my bio and apply to the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. Literally what happens in this mastermind is unreasonable. Really, the results that you will experience will not be normal. It feels a little too hard to believe if you go to the sales page, you will read the testimonials. It is outstanding. The results that my clients get, they're not normal. They're not industry standard. I don't expect you to believe that is real, but I expect you to be open to the possibility that it can be your reality because of the way that the program is designed. We are designed to collapse the timeline of how long it takes you to elevate your prices to a premium level simply by clarifying your message and getting your internal system on board with your new identity as a premium coach. And we do that for three months. We elevate you completely. So we redefine the offer, make sure that you're, you're feeling really great, great and delicious about your offer. I teach you how to price it, how to talk about it, how to show up on socials in a way that radiates magnetism that people just like, woof, just want to be around you and you feel so delicious. And then I give you the practical systems that are going to help you distribute content in amazing ways so that you don't have to do it all so that you're not at the computer all of the time. And I teach you my sales process so that you're able to enroll premium clients in a really beautiful way that feels really delicious to you and to them and at a premium level. People who pay in full four times more than what you have charged. I know it seems like hard to believe to some people, but if you know in your heart that's the reality that you want to live in, I really want to invite you to apply to Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind because we can absolutely help you get there. And apply to the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. Literally what happens in this mastermind is unreasonable. Really, the results that you will experience will not be normal. It feels a little too hard to believe if you go to the sales page, you will read the testimonials. It is outstanding. The results that my clients get, they're not normal. They're not industry standard. I don't expect you to believe that is real, but I expect you to be open to the possibility that it can be your reality because of the way that the program is designed. We are designed to collapse the timeline of how long it takes you to elevate your prices to a premium level simply by clarifying your message and getting your internal system on board with your new identity as a premium coach. And we do that for three months. We elevate you completely. So we redefine the offer, make sure that you're, you're feeling really great, great and delicious about your offer. I teach you how to price it, how to talk about it, how to show up on socials in a way that radiates magnetism that people just like, woof, just want to be around you and you feel so delicious. And then I give you the practical systems that are going to help you distribute content in amazing ways so that you don't have to do it all so that you're not at the computer all of the time. And I teach you my sales process so that you're able to enroll premium clients in a really beautiful way that feels really delicious to you and to them and at a premium level. People who pay in full 
four times more than what you have charged. I know it seems like hard to believe to some people, but if you know in your heart that's the reality that you wanna live in, I really wanna invite you to apply to Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind because we can absolutely help you get there. And I just can't wait to show you all of the amazing things coming up. So make sure that you go ahead and apply. Send me a message if you have any questions. If you're like, is this right for me? I'm not too sure. Send me a message and I'll answer your questions. I love you all so much. Bye.